Vladimir Titov is a retired Russian Air Force pilot and cosmonaut who was born on January 1, 1947, in Sretensk, Russia. He was selected as a cosmonaut in 1976 and went on to fly two space missions during his career. Titov's first spaceflight was as the flight engineer on Soyuz 7 in 1982. This mission was part of a larger Soviet program to conduct experiments in space and to prepare for future space station missions. During the mission, Titov spent a total of 4 days, 22 hours, and 49 minutes in space, orbiting the Earth 72 times. Titov's second spaceflight was as the commander of Soyuz TM-4 in 1987. This mission was a joint mission between the Soviet Union and India and was the first time an Indian citizen flew in space. During the mission, Titov and his crew conducted experiments in space and visited the Soviet space station Mir. They spent a total of 365 days, 22 hours, and 39 minutes in space, setting a new record for the longest spaceflight at the time. In addition to his spaceflight experience, Titov also held several positions within the Soviet and Russian space agencies. He was the deputy director of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center from 1997 to 2000 and served as the director of the center from 2000 to 2003. He also held positions within the Russian Space Agency and was awarded several honors for his contributions to the Soviet and Russian space programs. Musa Manarov is also a retired Russian cosmonaut who flew on the Mir EO-3 mission with Titov in 1987. Manarov was born on March 22, 1951, in Baku, Azerbaijan, and was selected as a cosmonaut in 1980. During the Mir EO-3 mission, Manarov served as the flight engineer and spent a total of 365 days, 22 hours, and 39 minutes in space, setting the same record as Titov for the longest spaceflight at the time. Manarov and Titov also conducted several experiments in space and performed maintenance and repair work on the Mir space station. After his spaceflight career, Manarov held several positions within the Russian space program, including serving as the director of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center from 2003 to 2004. He was also awarded several honors for his contributions to the Soviet and Russian space programs. Together, Titov and Manarov were a part of a historic mission that set a new record for the longest spaceflight and contributed to the development of the Soviet and Russian space programs. Vladimir Titov's early career began when he graduated from the Kachin Military Aviation School in 1969. After graduation, he served in the Soviet Air Force as a pilot and instructor. He accumulated over 2,500 hours of flight time on various aircraft, including the MiG-21, MiG-23, and Su-15. In 1976, Titov was selected as a cosmonaut and began training for his first space mission. He completed basic cosmonaut training and went on to complete specialized training in spacecraft systems and operations, extravehicular activities, and survival skills. During his first spaceflight on Soyuz 7 in 1982, Titov served as the flight engineer alongside Commander Anatoly Berezovoy and cosmonaut Alexander Serebrov. The mission aimed to conduct experiments in space and to prepare for future space station missions. During the flight, the crew performed various medical experiments, observed the Earth, and conducted tests on new spacesuit designs. They returned to Earth safely after four days, 22 hours, and 49 minutes in space. In 1987, Titov was selected as the commander of Soyuz TM-4, a joint mission between the Soviet Union and India. The mission launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome and docked with the Soviet space station Mir. The crew included Titov, flight engineer Musa Manarov, and Indian cosmonaut Rakesh Sharma. During the mission, the crew conducted experiments in space, performed maintenance and repair work on Mir, and communicated with ground teams in multiple languages. They returned to Earth after setting a new record for the longest spaceflight, spending 365 days, 22 hours, and 39 minutes in space. After his spaceflight career, Titov continued to contribute to the Russian space program in various roles. He served as the head of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center and as a member of the Russian State Duma's Committee on Science and High Technology. He was also awarded several honors for his contributions to the Soviet and Russian space programs, including the Order of Lenin and the Hero of the Soviet Union title. Musa Manarov's early career began when he graduated from the Baku Higher Military Aviation School in 1974. He served as a pilot in the Soviet Air Force and accumulated over 1,000 hours of flight time on various aircraft, including the MiG-21. In 1980, Manarov was selected as a cosmonaut and began training for his first space mission. He completed basic cosmonaut training and went on to complete specialized training in spacecraft systems and operations, extravehicular activities, and survival skills. 
During his spaceflight on the Mir EO-3 mission in 1987, Manarov served as the flight engineer alongside Commander Vladimir Titov. The mission aimed to conduct experiments in space and to prepare for future space station missions. During the flight, the crew performed various medical experiments, observed the Earth, and conducted tests on new spacesuit designs. They returned to Earth safely after setting a new record for the longest spaceflight, spending 365 days, 22 hours, and 39 minutes in space. After his spaceflight career, Manarov also continued to contribute to the Russian space program in various roles. He served as the director of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center and is a member of the Russian State Duma's Committee on Science and High Technology. He was also awarded several honors for his contributions to the Soviet and Russian space programs, including the Order of Lenin and the Hero of the Soviet Union title. In addition to his role as a cosmonaut and his contributions to the Russian space program, Musa Manarov is also known for his philanthropic work. He founded the Musa Manarov Charity Fund, which provides support to children with disabilities and other vulnerable groups in Azerbaijan. In 1997, Manarov also participated in a charity expedition to the summit of Mount Everest. The expedition aimed to raise awareness and funds for the Musa Manarov Charity Fund, as well as to promote environmental protection and cultural exchange. Manarov's contributions to space exploration and his philanthropic work have earned him numerous awards and honors. In addition to the Order of Lenin and the Hero of the Soviet Union title, he has also been awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Labor, the Order of Honor, and the Haydar Aliyev Order. He is also a member of the International Academy of Astronautics and the Russian Academy of Cosmonautics. Together, Vladimir Titov and Musa Manarov's successful mission on Mir EO-3 and their contributions to the Russian space program have earned them a place in the history of space exploration. Their work has paved the way for future space station missions and has inspired generations of astronauts and cosmonauts around the world. Vladimir Titov and Musa Manarov's mission on Mir EO-3 was not without challenges. One of the most significant challenges they faced during their 365-day mission was a malfunction in the spacecraft's environmental control system. The system was designed to regulate temperature and humidity levels inside the spacecraft, but it failed to function properly, causing high levels of humidity and condensation to build up on the walls and ceilings of the modules. To address this issue, the crew had to use towels and sponges to wipe down the walls and ceilings of the modules on a daily basis. They also had to adjust their sleep and work schedules to accommodate the additional maintenance tasks. Despite this and other challenges, Titov and Manarov's mission on Mir EO-3 was a resounding success. They conducted a wide range of scientific experiments, including studies on the effects of long-term spaceflight on the human body, as well as experiments in biology, physics, and technology. They also performed maintenance and repair work on the Mir space station, including replacing solar panels and conducting spacewalks to repair a damaged hatch. Their successful mission set a new record for the longest duration in space by a human crew, surpassing the previous record of 237 days set by the crew of Soyuz TM-9. This achievement helped to demonstrate the viability of long-duration spaceflight and paved the way for future missions to the International Space Station and beyond. In recognition of their contributions to space exploration, Vladimir Titov and Musa Manarov were both awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, the highest civilian honor in the Soviet Union. They remain celebrated figures in the history of Russian and global space exploration. In addition to their scientific and technical achievements, Vladimir Titov and Musa Manarov's mission on Mir EO-3 also had important political and symbolic significance. The mission took place at a time of significant political and economic changes in the Soviet Union, as the country was undergoing a period of transition from communism to a more market-oriented economy. By demonstrating the success of their mission and the viability of long-term spaceflight, Titov and Manarov helped to bolster the prestige of the Soviet space program at a time when the country was facing many challenges on the domestic and international fronts. The success of the mission also helped to strengthen ties between the Soviet Union and its allies in the international community, including other members of the Warsaw Pact and countries in the non-aligned movement. At the same time, the mission also had symbolic importance in terms of the representation of different national and cultural identities within the Soviet Union. Vladimir Titov, who was of Russian ethnicity, and Musa Manarov, who was of Azerbaijani ethnicity, represented different regions and cultural traditions within the country. Their joint mission on Mir EO-3 helped to highlight the diversity and unity of the Soviet Union, and served as an example of cooperation and collaboration across different national...